One of my favorite things about gardening is experimentation, trying to see what works and what doesn't. I'm over at our old place right now, filming a series of videos, so if I appear to be wearing the same shirt every single day, it's all the same day. You're just seeing it on different days. No, actually, I only have this one shirt. I'm very poor. Please send a super chat. One of our experiments that I'm working on is trying to incorporate some of the centropic agriculture principles of Ernst Gotsch into a temperate climate. Granted, it's a warm temperate climate, but one of the things I loved about centropic agriculture was the use of bananas as a big portion of the system for chop and drop and for holding onto water and for putting down the middle of tree rows. So I've been planting them into my grocery row garden system. This is a Musa Bajju, which is a cold hardy banana that is unfortunately not really edible, but it has the benefit of being a big banana plant. This was a little teeny thing that I got off of Etsy and it's already making a baby, which means I have two and they're quite cold hardy. So I believe that these are gonna be a good addition as a biomass plant and you can use the leaves for plates. Isn't that amazing? You can also chop the stems up, lay them on the ground, and as they slowly rot down, they will add moisture to the soil. So I can use that. The only thing I'm not getting is bananas, which is kind of sad. But that's one of our experiments that we're running right now. And I'm gonna take these home and plant them and see how cold hardy they really are. Another part of our experiments is trying to figure out which cassava varieties are cold hardy enough or produce in a fast enough time period that we'll actually get roots out of them before the frost. Cassava often takes 12 months to 16 months, 18 months to make good sized roots. Some of these varieties make roots faster. We planted five varieties last year. We added about five more this year. So we're trying to get it pinned down to which variety of cassava is going to make us usable roots in the growing season from about April, May to November, December. That's the block we have where we don't have freezes because cassava is an excellent staple crop. We've already had one variety come through for us and make us roots, so we're adding more, and whatever we discover, that's what we're gonna keep planting, and it will be a regular part of our gardens because they grow really easy, even in horrible soil. Another experiment we're running is we're land racing things, Joseph Lofthouse style. You should follow a whole bunch of different people and borrow ideas from them. You might get a good idea from me, you might get a good idea from somebody else, Herrick Kimball or Josh Satin or Joseph Lofthouse. We planted about 10 different varieties of okra and we're letting them go to seed and we haven't cared for them at all. So they're just living on the rainfall and doing what they do and some of them have died and some of them have lived, but they're all crossing and we'll just keep planting these seeds for a couple of years and let the genetics sort out. It'll be a carefree okra, like maybe even more carefree than it already is. At least it will be our variety of okra with a ton of different interesting genetics. All kinds of okras. I don't know what these are. Let's plant them and find out what they grow into. I don't know, it's interesting. We planted all these different types. So you experiment with it and you don't get hung up on, oh, I just wanna grow that one red okra. No, you just plant every okra you find, let them all cross and then you see what you get. This one's a red okra. That other one was a green okra. More seeds. That's great. Hey, maybe we'll get an okra that actually naturalizes. Just grows all on its own. We'll plant it in the food forest and let it self seed. That would be pretty cool. Don't be afraid to experiment. Your, your backyard can be your science lab. And I would trust the results that you get much better than any big funded study or anything like that. Look at, just learn from your backyard. Don't be afraid to plant a bunch of different stuff. Try a bunch of different things, see what happens. That's how my gardening works. I experiment a lot. A lot of times people write me and say, how do I do this or how do I do this or will this grow in my climate? And my answer usually is, try it and see. What have you got to lose? And you're doing a little bit of interesting research and maybe your research will help somebody else. At the very least, it might help to keep your family fed. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And if you like the idea of experimenting and creating 
your own gardens and systems and figuring out what works best to get more food for less work, check out my books. I'll put a link below. That's what I do. I'm an author. Well, I was actually a Boston Nova singer who ended up an author who now ended up a YouTuber. But at heart, I'm a landscape painter. Catch y'all next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green. Be nice to your mother and always say please. Be loyal to friends and compost your enemies. Be nice to your mother and always say please.